Sphere primitive. A sphere is a smooth round globe, kind of like a ball. And once we initiate the command, it's ask us for the center of the sphere, and it'll ask us for a diameter or a radius. And it's pretty straightforward. So we go up and we say we want the sphere command. Where do we want the center point? We can pick anywhere. I'll, I'll say 0, 0, 0. I pick enter. And I'm going to go in and put a diameter in and say 10. And you can see this is what it looks like in a 2D wireframe mode. But if I switch this to realistic, you'll see like it looks like a smooth globe. All right. Now, let's go and do that one more time. I'm going to go to the sphere. And I could choose three, any of these three methods to pick the center point. I could pick two points, which would be the diameter, any three points, or tangent, tangent, radius, which I have two lines, and then give it the radius. So um, I'll go with, uh, let's go with the two point. So I'll pick one end, and I pick the other end. Boom. All right, do that one more time. Let's do three points. I have to pick one, two, and a third point. And I get the third point. For tangent, tangent, radius, I got to have two lines. I pick the sphere. I'll pick a tangent, tangent, radius. I pick the line up spot on the first object, a line on the spot on the second object. I give it a radius such as four. Boom. It goes so that it's tangent, tangent on those. Now, when I go back and look at it in different view styles, such as 2D for uh, wireframe, I can have some different ways of seeing these. I'm going to go up into my view panel. I'm going to hit the down arrow, and I'm going to go to my view styles manager. In the view styles manager, I can change the number of contour lines. Instead of four, I'll go with, say, 24. And I'm going to hit enter. And now, I'm going to erase all these. I'm going to go put sphere in. And I do have 2D wireframe still on. And I'm going to pick. And now I get more lines. So our, my ISO lines are like the latitude, longitude type of thing. So I do get to see more of those. So I can configure my going to my visual style manager. I can change my contour lines. And my contour lines, then I can set. And, you know, I can set that all the way up to like 2048, which is a lot. I generally like to pick somewhere between like, you know, 8 and 32. I don't need to have a lot of them. But we also have another one called Draw the True Silhouette. And that's a yes or no. I'm going to switch it to yes. Um, well, let's, let me go back, and I'm going to put it at no for right now. So, no is the default. Alright, I'll say no. And I'm going to type in the word hide. When I type in the word hide, you can kind of see that on the edges it connects the dots. It doesn't make a true circle. But if I go up to my view style manager, and I set my true silhouette to yes and say OK. All right. Now, when I come in and put it in, and I actually come in and I type hide, it gives me a perfect circle when I hide it. So when I have the true uh, sil the, the silhouette, true silhouette turned on, it gives me just the outside edge of the circle. Yeah, I don't use that much, honestly. Um, so I generally don't care too much about that one way or the other. But my contour lines I do. I like to bump them up a little bit. Now how do I get them back so that I see my ISO lines, my contour lines? Type in regen. Okay, and then boom, they all come back. All right, so I'm gonna erase that. I'm gonna go back up into my view styles manager. I'm gonna set it back to four, which was the default. And remember now when I pick on the sphere in a 2D wireframe, I just get four of those lines. 
but I don't work in 2D wireframe all that much anyway. I generally work in realistic and conceptual. So, so we have spheres, and spheres have some ways we can manipulate the contour lines, the tessellation, tessellation lines, or the ISO lines. And we do that in our view styles manager, and we set then the ISO lines and the true silhouettes.